All right, we're looking at odd versus even functions today. Odd versus even. So we're going to have something like this right here. Is this function right here odd, even, or is it neither one? Okay, now, what you do for that, to tell if a function is odd or even, if you do f of negative x, and it comes out the same thing as f of x, it's even. But if you do f of negative x, and you get the opposite of f of x, that means it's odd. Okay? So if you put negative x in for x, and you get the same exact function, it's an even function. But if you put negative x in for x, and you get the opposite of the function, that means it's an odd function. And if you don't get either one of these, it's neither. All right, so here's my first example right here. I've got f of x is 2x minus 5. All right, so what's f of negative x? So I'm going to put negative x in for x. Okay, so when I do that, I get negative 2x minus 5. And so there's what I get. Now I compare that to what I had. Is that the exact same thing? Well, no, it's, it's negative 2x instead of 2x. But I still have the negative 5. So it's not the same thing, and it's not the opposite. So this is neither. Okay? What about this one here? Okay, 2x squared minus 5. All right, so I'm going to do f of negative x. And then we'll put that in for x. Okay? So when I put negative x in here for x, i got to square that. When I square negative x, when I square negative, it makes it positive. So it's going to be a positive 2x squared. And then i got the minus 5. And so there's what I get. When I look at there, that's the exact same thing what I had. So that means this is even. Because when I put negative x in for x, I get the same exact thing. So this is an even function. Okay? What about this one here? Is this odd, even, or neither? All right, so I'm going to put negative x in for x. So I'm going to have 2, and I'm going to have negative x to the third, minus 5, and I'm going to have negative x for x there. So I put negative x in for x. All right, when I do this here, then negative x to the third power, when I negative 1 to the third power would be negative 1, times 2 would be negative 2. And I've got the x to the third, minus and then 5 times negative x. All right, so negative 5 times negative x would be a positive 5x. And so there you go. That's what I get. And if you notice, this right here is the exact opposite of this. Because see, I got, instead of 2x squared, I got, or 2x to the third, I got negative 2x to the third. Instead of minus 5x, I have plus 5x. So this is opposite, which means this is an odd function. Okay, so here you see a neither one. Here you see one that's even. Here you see one that's odd. And that's what you do. You put negative x in for x, and that'll tell you. Now, what you can do, though, is you can look at a shortcut. You like shortcuts? Shortcuts are awesome. All you have to really do is this. If you look at this term right here for x, this is x to the 1 power. And then right here, I get x to the 0 power because there's no x there at all. This is 1, which is odd. This is 0, which 0 is actually even. So I got an odd and an even, okay, which means it's neither, because it has to be all odd or it has to be all even, okay? Now look at this one. See here, I've got x squared, and then here I have x to the 0. Even, 2 is even, 0 is even. So this is an even function, because everything's even. But on this one here, Look here, this is x to the third, which is odd. This is 5x to the 1, which is odd, odd, odd. It's all odd. So it means the odd function. And that's basically all you have to do. All right, so look at this, these examples here. These are problems like what we're going to have our homework. Determine if this function here is odd, even, odd, or neither. Well, this is x to the 1, and that's the only term, so that's odd. Okay. This one here. I got 4x squared. Okay. That's even. 2 is even, so that's even. Okay. 
This is x to the third, that's odd. Okay, since that's the only term, that's all you have to worry about. But now here's one with two terms. Okay, right here. All right, this one's even. And this one here is x to the one, which is odd. All right, this is neither. Because they all have to be even or they all have to be odd. So this is neither. What about this one here? Okay. All right, I got 4x to the third. That's odd. I got 6x squared. That's even. That's neither. It's got to be all odd or it's got to be all even. Real simple. What about this one here? All right, this is even. And this is x to the zero, which is even. So this is even. This is even. This is even and that's even. Two and zero are both even. All right, what about this one here? All right, three is odd. This is x to the one, that's odd. All right, this is odd. Okay, it's got to be all even or it's got to be all odd. Okay, what about here? All right, there's three of them here. So we gotta look at all three. There's a four, a three, and a two. That's even, that's odd, that's even. Well, it's not all even, it's not all odd, so it's neither. Okay, we're about uh, two more here. Uh, this one, four, two, and then that's x to the zero, so that's even. Four is even, two is even, zero is even. They're all even, so this one's even. Okay, one last one here. Four x to the fifth, this is odd. 4x to the third, that's odd. x to the one, that's odd. They're all odd, so this is odd. Okay, and you're just really looking at the exponents is all you're looking at. You don't care about these coefficients in front. That's four and four and six, those are even. But the exponents is what you're looking at and they're all odd. Okay, so that's, that's it for this assignment. Odd versus even. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a good rest of the day.